Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is be aware of love bombing red flags. Some of my clients have become very frustrated with how fast and furious a relationship starts out and then it abruptly ends within a couple of months. And what happens in situations like this is when people come in really fast into a new relationship, there's usually something that is too good to be true. Everything's just flowing along, you're so happy, you're texting each other all the time, they're saying all the right things, you can't wait to be together, you've had great sex, all the bells and whistles are there until they're not. And what happens here is there's a lot of charmers out there. They're very good at letting you feel like this is everything, you're the one. And you and hey, why wouldn't you feel that way? The trouble is some people are so good at coming in fast because they really like the excitement. They like the new fresh feeling they get with a new situation. So what ends up happening is they get addicted to this. And so what they do is they learn how to love bomb somebody. They learn how to say all the right things, how to be the charmer and come in gangbusters and win your love, your affection and your trust. This is where it becomes very difficult to remove yourself from it when things all of a sudden end because you're not ready to remove your feelings. You're there, you're all in because you've trusted what they said to you. Unfortunately, with this love bombing approach where the compliments are flowing, they buy you gifts, they, they meet, uh, introduce you to their family, they, they start planning things for your future. They talk about you, the future with you quite regularly. But there's a lot of control that goes on here. And I'll, many of the times you might not see that because it just feels so good to be with somebody who cares. And why wouldn't it? Everybody's going to get sucked into that because it's something that we don't have as much anymore. It's hard to meet somebody that we are compatible with, that we really truly connect with. And so we hang on to it. The problem is when you go in like this and you get caught up in the speed of this love bombing technique, is when you get caught it and because when you're you're kind of holding back a little bit and doing slow and steady meeting a person getting to know them on your time frame not all about what they want and how they're kind of coming in there and making everything so great you have more time to sit back and really see them for who they are when you get pulled in to the romantic gestures and all these wonderful things it is so difficult not to fall for it. We've all been there. I mean, I've been there a few times in my younger years. And that's okay for a little bit. But the problem is, if you're not being realistic about what's actually transpiring in your new relationship with someone, unfortunately, you might go through this more times than you want to. If you're in control of saying when you're going to see them, having a little bit of a input here and saying, no, I've got other things going on this week. Maybe we can get together the following week. Just pull back on the reins a bit. And by doing that, you have a clearer vision of who they are. I often find that people who end up sexually active with somebody new very quickly this is when it happens because you're already, especially for women, because you're, when you are making love with somebody, you have more of an emotional connection. And once you're emotionally invested in somebody, it's really hard to pull away from it. So even if you're getting some sort of indications within yourself, like your, your instincts are saying, oh, this might be too good to be true. You have to listen to them because anytime you're, you're, you know, you get yourself caught up in a situation that's happened fast and you've allowed yourself to be intimate quickly with somebody, you are a little bit more involved with them now. And then it's harder to really see the clear picture here because you're invested. 
your chemistry is so powerful and it's so good because they're so great at love bombing and saying all the right things and doing all the right things that it keeps you more and more invested. Now, I'm not saying this person might not care about you or have really great feelings for you. I'm sure they do, but they're just not somebody that's interested usually into having a long-term commitment. They're usually sort of in fast, out fast. And that's the problem because you're sitting in the dust of the aftermath of this wonderful situation that you had, wondering what the hell happened. Another thing that some people don't understand about love bombing, it's a form of manipulation and control. Because once they've got you into the web, so to speak, with all this charm, and the compliments and just making you feel so good, you're now under their spell. And that unfortunately doesn't give you the, the sort of know-how on how to go forward with this because you're already there. When you take the time to get to know somebody and watch them, watch their actions, watch their body language, listen to what they say, that's when you know if you're with somebody who's sincere or somebody that just is there for a short time. You get to understand and know when you do take time between dates. Just sit back once in a while. Don't give everything of yourself to everybody you meet. They have to earn that. So many of us want to just say, ah, I don't care, I'm going for it. But then you pay the price later because it affects you every time something like this happens when a relationship abruptly ends. Another way you can tell if somebody's love bombing you is so often they can be sort of jealous if they're not feeling like they're they're bringing you in. They'll be jealous and they'll they'll start saying, "Oh, I love you" really quickly. They'll be talking about the future nonstop of where you're going to be in their life and all those things. Those are really big red flags when they come on really fast and strong with that and if you feel if they feel that you're not quite there they'll try even harder so be aware of all of these scenarios when you're trying to figure out if you're with somebody of substance somebody that wants to be in your life in a committed partnership and in closing to today's topic if you're wondering whether they really are a love bomber or maybe they're just really nice ask them a few questions about their past how many relationships have they had? How long were these relationships? They may not be honest with you, but a lot of them are, will be and tell you, oh, I haven't had a really long-term relationship or I've had quite a few, you know, a few months here and there. Just haven't met my person yet, but you, you're, you're feeling like you're the one I want to be with. You know, they say all these things. So just really hear what they're saying. Don't shut your mind out to what they're actually telling you. Look at all sides of them, not just the charming side. And finally, love bombers like to be in charge. They like to control your life. They're not happy when you make plans to be with your friends or to go and do any other outside activities without them. This is a very big sign that you should always pay attention to, especially in the first couple of months of a relationship. So be on top of it, pay close attention, and don't let yourself get emotionally connected too quickly because that will put blinders on and you won't see what's really happening. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please leave any comments, questions you have below the video, and please like it and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye-bye.